the stage we're at in the process for the awards this year is we've received the entries. What's been so interesting is we've more than doubled last year's numbers, and I would say we've more than doubled last year's quality. So you've seen this huge groundswell of enthusiasm to be involved and, and get become part of the awards. As a result of that, we've tweaked our process slightly. So instead of immediately moving to shortlist, we've actually had instituted an additional phase whereby we've nominated some of the entrepreneurs because we want to celebrate as many inspiring entrepreneurs as possible. So where we're at in the process is we're about to announce a list of nominees. The judges will then go through the difficult process of trimming that down to a shortlist for the awards themselves. quality has just been amazing of the applicants, genuinely. So I'm so glad I'm not a judge. One, because it must be such a difficult task, but also because I get to read all the entries. They're moving, they're inspiring, they're exciting. They are, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? They're genius, they're just fantastic. And there's been a clear change, I suspect, in the in the nature of entrepreneurship in the UK in recent years that's reflected in the awards. They're really diverse, they're ethnically diverse, they're diverse in terms of geography, they're diverse in terms of age group. I literally think we do 9 to 90 in terms of age. It's a really, it's a really inspiring process to be involved with. What's changed this year, I think, is the mindset of the entrepreneurs. So we're passionate believers that entrepreneurs are most celebrated around their stories, not their balance sheet. I don't want to measure entrepreneurs in pound signs. What's changed, though, is we've made it we've made it tougher to tell the story. We've forced, to, we've forced commerciality to become part of the story. And so what you've seen is a slightly more disciplined entry. But I also think that reflects what's happening amongst entrepreneurs in the UK at large. They are a bit more disciplined. They're a bit more aware of process. So you've got this amazing blend of creativity and inspiration over here and discipline over here. And I'm interested in how we tell entrepreneurs stories currently. So I think you've got the journey. Luke Skywalker, the young entrepreneur, the hero, of our journey has now met Yoda and he's been trained a bit and he's becoming more of a Jedi. That's where British entrepreneurs are.